When it comes to fitness, how fascinating do you think the times we're living are? Smartwatches let you track steps and exercise goals, the new map can serve as your food coach, a Peloton can be your fitness coach, and MyFitnessPal is your nutritional daily accountability app. It's almost like having a different version of Batman's butler outfit at your disposal, or maybe Jarvis from Iron Man, whichever works better. Anyhow, all of these companies have creatively redesigned the weight loss journey to make it enjoyable and improve our motivation by employing what's called a gamification strategy. In today's video, we're going to break down how to gamify your brain and make it even easier to lose weight and improve your fitness starting today. Stay tuned. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell to get notified of our latest video. What is gamification? Gamification is the process of taking something that already exists, such as a workout regimen, and integrating game mechanics into it with the intent to motivate, improve engagement, and increase loyalty. In other words, it's a way of turning an activity into a game. So how do you gamify your brain for weight loss? Let's start with our first tip, create a scoreboard. The measures or methods to assess success are your scoreboard. We must learn to measure our food, track our weight loss, and track our performance over time. Just how many calories are in the oatmeal you eat in the morning or slice of pizza you had over the weekend? The same goes for weight loss and performance. Can I lose more weight next week? How much more weight can I lift today? How would I look weeks from now if I keep improving? By keeping a scoreboard, you'll begin asking the right questions to keep on pace to your goals and make adjustments if necessary. Plus, it's always fun to see your improvements in writing. Number two, work out your way. Be creative. Not everyone wants to go to the gym four to five times a week. Some people prefer to do bodyweight workouts or even train to do the 100 mile endurance challenge. Yeah, those people exist. But whatever your workout of choice is, establish a workout plan that you can endure for the long run to avoid giving up in the early get-go. There's a reason why crash dieting and crash exercise programs don't work out for most people. No pun intended. Start slowly, build up gradually, and watch how these habits will create themselves, making it easy to maintain consistency for a long time. Number three, recreate your mind. Exercising is all mental. A healthy psyche can help with any activity since having a positive outlook generally puts you in good spirits and it helps you perform better as a result. Once we are habitual of it, we'll see rapid change in our body because these nature-based habits always keep our brain fresh and healthy. When you have a healthy, active, and fresh brain, your health and body will be in an ideal healthy state. A calm mind creates a calm heart and calm muscles. Free your mind, free your body, and the results will follow. Number 4. Establish good eating habits. No matter how hard you try, you will never outrun a bad diet. Look back at your nutritional history and write down why you've made bad food choices in the past. Reflection is a key process in learning from your mistakes. If you're not able to identify your bad choices and develop a plan, it will be difficult to create the right necessary eating habits for weight loss. The application MyFitnessPal will be great in this department and help you keep a food journal to stay on track. Remember, the goal here is to gamify the process and get you to see real progress on paper because once you see that your eating habits have improved after a period of time, you release the reward motivational chemical dopamine and feel tremendous about yourself. Number 5. Get those Z's you can gamify your sleep by establishing a good nighttime routine to make sure you're well rested. Did you know a lack of sleep is the leading cause of binge eating ice cream at 3 in the morning? That's a 100% fact. So don't be a victim of late night trip to the fridge. Get your sleep in to get the best results possible. And if you haven't already, check out our sleep video for all the amazing benefits of sleep at the top right of your screen or by clicking the link in the description box. Number 6. Create a goal timeline. Without a firm long-term target, you're vulnerable to giving up at the beginning of the process. You'll want to create a big goal followed by a set of mini goals to keep you focused over the long run. What good are results if you lose them just as fast? Let's break this down. Passing the initial challenge. In the beginning, the initial workouts and change of lifestyle will be difficult for you and probably will be difficult for a long period of time. To stay motivated, you should develop a sense of optimism in each area of your life because as we mentioned earlier, a cool, collected, and unwavering mind creates a healthy and optimistic demeanor. Remember, getting started is the most difficult part during the beginning stages and your perception of the challenges you face will play a big role. 
Can you make it to the end of the week of your new program, or even the end of the month? Setting these mini milestones will serve you well if you can complete them. The halfway point. On average, it takes 66 days before a new behavior becomes a habit. Depending on where your starting point is, your goal may take a little longer than others, but it's important to understand that these new habits don't form overnight or in 21 days as most commonly heard. Set realistic expectations of what your halfway point goal may be and continue to use the many milestones to get you there. The finale and beyond. This is the period in time where you are truly content in life and with the progress you've made. Whether it's being able to walk 5k non-stop, run 6 miles under an hour, or just the ability to go up and down stairs without being winded, you reach your destination by successfully gamifying the process to sustain the results that you have achieved. Creating a goal timeline will be similar to a storybook. You're going to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. So make sure to keep these things in mind to get the best bang for your buck. And as a bonus, here are three fun games that you can incorporate into your workout regime today. Number one, beat the number game. Trying to beat your own workout records isn't as fun as chasing your friend's top scores in the mile or some other fitness challenge. Begin by starting a group chat with your friends to keep track of the best times in your classic workouts. And whenever you train, aim to surpass someone in the group. For this game, however, make sure to only use it with workouts that include time requirements such as AMRAP, which is as many rounds or reps as possible. What if you can't beat the record? Well, then you're stuck buying dinner for the group. Number two, the reps game. Have you ever played the game called horse and basketball? Here's how you can apply it to a gym workout and will only require a gym buddy. Have your partner start by picking an exercise and rep goal. If he or she misses it, it's your turn to pick a move. But if they do manage to hit it, then it's your turn to do it. Miss it and you get the letter R. Miss another and you get the letter E. Spell reps and you lose. And do a move of your friend's choosing. Set the reps target high enough to challenge your partner, but not too high. Shoot for about 20 to 30 reps per set. You don't just gain a letter for when you miss reps, you also owe your partner 5 burpees. Have fun! And lastly, number 3, roll the dice. Bring a pair of dice with you to the weight room and pick 5 exercises. Then, for each move, roll the dice twice. Add the two numbers, that's how many reps you've got on deck for each move and work through 4 rounds total of that circuit. This is a single player gamification. Finished all the moves? Roll one dice. Do that many reps of the first exercise. What other ways do you know how to gamify your brain for weight loss? Is this your first time hearing of gamification? Let us know in the comments below. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell as it helps support the channel to keep producing more content. Until next time.